Maayong adlaw, ako si Jona. Maayong pag-abot diri sa Bisaya Classroom. Today, we are going to make Bisaya sentences. And even though you are a complete beginner in Bisaya, I assure you that after this video, you will know how to learn the following. Number one, you will understand what is the sentence structure of Bisaya. Number two, you are going to learn Bisaya action words. Number three, you will know how to make your own sentences in Bisaya. And lastly, number four, you can translate English to Bisaya sentences. I believe you are excited and you are ready to learn. So let's start. The first step, okay, we will be learning this 10 Bisaya action words. Okay, so let us start with, you would see here, number one, sing. In Bisaya, that's kanta, kanta. Number two, that's dance. I don't know how to dance, but dance. In Bisaya, that's sayaw, sayaw. Number three, we have eat. In Bisaya, that's kaon, kaon. Number four, we have travel. Travel, in Bisaya, that's laag, laag. Number five, we have laugh. So, in Bisaya, that's katawa, katawa. Number six, we have cry. Cry. So in Bisaya, that's hilak. Hilak. Number seven, we have go. In Bisaya, that's addo. Addo. Number eight, we have go home. That's actually a phrase. Go home. In Bisaya, that's just one word. It's uli. Uli. Okay. Number nine, we have jump. In Bisaya, that's ambak. And number 10, we have watch. So in Bisaya, that's tanaw. Okay, so we have a bunch of Bisaya action words here that you will learn. By the way, don't worry if you would think that you cannot memorize it. Don't worry, just take down notes and just follow all our activities today. Because our focus today is to know how to create sentences and to translate English sentences to Bisaya sentences. So that next time when you hear these sentences, you would understand them. Okay? So again, these are the action words, basic action words that we will learn today. Okay, let's start. Let's have this sentence. Okay, this sentence is, I will sing. Okay, this is the most, let's just uh, start with the basic. I will sing. So, in the English language, um, the most common sentence structure starts with the subject, okay, that's I, and then we have the uh, helping verb, that's will, and we have the main verb, that's sing, okay? So, subject, helping verb, and main verb, that is uh, actually one of the most common English um, sentence structure. Okay, so we will focus on this uh, most common English sentence structure all throughout the lesson, all right? Let's not complicate ourselves. Let's just start with the most simple sentence structure. So we have again, I will sing. In Bisaya, it's a different story, okay? In Bisaya, we start with the helping, helping verb and then the main verb followed by the doer of the action or in this case the subject okay again we usually start the most common bisaya sentence there are a lot of bisaya sentence structure but the most uh, basic and common bisaya sentence structure is this we start with the predicate the verb the thing that we do and then the doer is the last one or uh, for the case of i will sing that's um helping verb main verb and then we have the doer of the action or the subject. So, it sounds complicated, but it's really not, okay? So, I will sing. Let us try to um, 
translate this. Look at the translation of sing here in our verbs, okay? Can you tell me what is the Bisaya for sing? Kanta, yes, correct. So we will put the kanta there as the main verb, right? But in the Bisaya sentence structure, we need to have the helping verb first. So what is the helping verb? For, uh, what is the Bisaya for will? Okay, so in Bisaya, uh, we will just put mu, M-U, okay? Some spellings would say M-O, but actually Bisaya uh, words, they pronounce it um, a little harder. So the U there is the most appropriate, okay? Just comment uh, down below what can you say about it. But the spelling of uh, mu here is M-U, mu kanta. So now our main verb is in its Future tense, meaning it means will. So, in Bisaya, it's not actually a word. It's a prefix. So, we put it at the beginning of the word, okay? To make the verb in the future tense. Since uh, the English sentence that we are translating is in future. So, we say, Mokanta. So, it means will sing. And now, Mokanta ko. So, we, we use ko. Actually, I there, I, is actually translated. Direct translation of I is ako. Okay? I in Bisaya is ako. Ako. But when it is placed at the end of the sentence, like in this case, mo kanta ako, it's correct, but it's uh, it sounds a little weird and Bisaya people actually don't really use that. So we just omit Ah, okay, and we just put ko. Understood? So we say, mokanta ko. I will sing. Understood? Let's try another verb. Let us have dance, okay? What is the bisaya for dance? Let's sayaw. So let's put sayaw and let's add mo. Okay. Mo sayaw ko. Mo sayaw ko. Mo sayaw ko. I will dance. Okay, let's have the third one. Eat. What is the Bisaya for eat? Kaon. Okay? So, mo, mo kaon ko. Mo kaon ko. I will eat. Another example. Let's do it a little faster. Travel. That's laag. Okay? I will travel. How will you translate that? Mulaag. Okay, if you translated it first before me, then good. Okay, let's have number five. Laugh. Okay, that's katawa. Mukatawa ko. That's I will laugh. Okay, next number six. The opposite of mukatawa ko. Cry, that's hilak. So in a sentence, we could say, Muhilak ko. Muhilak ko. If you will not subscribe, muhilak ko. Anyway, please subscribe so that uh, you will help me keep going. But thank you for all those who have subscribed already. Anyway, let's move on. Number seven, go. Go. So that's mo adtoko. Mo adtoko. Are you going? Mo adtoko. Yes. Oh, mo adtoko. Mo adtoko. Next, we have go home. Go home. So we say mo oliko. Mooliko. 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 Okay, next, number nine. That's jump. So in Visaya, that's ambak. Okay, so I would say, Muambakko. Muambakko. Okay, number ten, last, watch. So in Visaya, we say, use watch in a sentence. Visaya of watch is tan out. So we say, mu. Tan ko. Mutan ko. Mutan ko. Very easy, right? Okay, so just focus on this very um, common or very, very, very basic, simple sentence structure in Bisaya. Alright, so let's have an activity. I, I know that you are excited to, you know, practice this skill. Okay, so I will be, uh, this is our activity, okay? I'm going to say the sentence in English. And what you will do is you are going to translate it in Bisaya, okay? So I will not be removing these action words here. So if you forget, 
the Bisaya um, uh, translation for that specific verb, just look here, okay? Just look here as a practice. Are you ready to translate this English sentences to Bisaya? Okay, if you're ready, then let's start with number one. I will watch. I will watch. If you answered mutan oko, very good. Okay, number two. I will only have five uh, sentences here. Number two. I will travel. I will travel. Okay, very good. So if you said mula ako, correct. Number three. I will sing. I will sing. Very good. So if you said mukanta ko, correct. Okay, number four. I will cry. I will cry. Okay, so if you said muhilak ko, correct. Okay, I will laugh. I will laugh. Okay, so if you said mukatawa ko, correct. Okay, that's all for this lesson. Okay, uh, I hope that you have learned something. You can just, you know, try to practice this sentence structure. You can research more action words in Bisaya and you try to make Bisaya sentences out of those words and try to uh, construct the sentences according to this structure. This is the most common um, basic Bisaya sentence. All right. So thank you very much. And we are going to have our new lesson um, next. Uh, what do you I think I'm going to have a new lesson later. Okay, so that would be all. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for subscribing if you have subscribed already. See you next time in the Bisaya Classroom. Bye!